Well, it's a sad day here at NAC. One of my favorite players has just left the club. And Well, the transfer window has opened up. We've had some business coming in. We've had some business going out. Let's go ahead, check it out, see what has happened. I haven't queued this up. Do apologize for the black screen for a moment. Uh, here we are. Yep, transfer news. We have done some business, but but for I mean, really, it's it's uh I'm gonna cut out the transfer screen because there's some other stuff that's happening that I'm not a huge fan of right now, and I don't want to show it until it happens. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have done. Remember, all right, so looking at what we've done, uh, we have sold one player that's not came out yet. Markello, he joins uh, Kalmar tomorrow for 190K. He has left the club, so uh, kind of glad to get him out of the club. He's uh, His contract was expiring at the end of the year. We signed him for a free. Brought it brought in 190K for him, so good business there. Happy with that one, and then I have signed two more players now the first guy we're going to show obviously he's just a free transfer uh youth prospect that does have some potential that is a dutch born and that is errol here he's a one and a half star player four and a half star potential left back option looks to be okay nothing crazy just a just a young player that we may eventually end up selling at some point or if he decides to develop any can work himself onto the first team so that being said on the reserve side is right now uh, the one guy that does come in and joins the uh, senior squad, we have showed him off in the past, and that is Zamora. Uh, purchased him for 400K. Peruvian born, three star player, four and a half star potential ability. Uh, I like this guy a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards central mid on attack for him or our Mazala as well. I think he can kind of play both of those positions. So that's that's really good. That That's huge. I mean, I'm happy about this signing. I think it's a good one. I know you're like, hey, Breck, you've got a lot of central mid players. I know. I can't help it, okay? I do like this guy, though. Uh, good technique, good passing. Uh, vision looks good. Determined that He's determined as hell. He's got good flair, so good creative ability. Got a nice unibrow going for him as well. Uh, played, I believe, in the Peruvian Premier League, basically. Uh, a little bit. Not much. Not great form right now, but uh, a guy that I think will be a, a solid piece for us in the future. I don't believe we've played any matches. Getting into the recap now. Uh, yeah, we just played the one friendly, so nothing to go over there. Training-wise, uh, Nono and Roneri putting out pins, baby. Let's go, Samari. Advos Snow around there as well. Looking good. Excited about that. Think we're, think we're doing good. Think we're doing good. Now that the recap's over, now that the transfer news is over, it's time to get into the match. I'm ready to get through this day because... As I've mentioned, there is some other transfer news that may be happening, and it's 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 news that I don't want to deal with. I really don't. But it'd be good for the club. It would be uh, it'd bring in a decent amount of money for us. Uh, I've got the side picked. I had to cut a little bit out there. Do apologize because uh, there was some information there that I did not want you to see. Uh, we got no no in goal back for Van Roy, Marquez, Delgado, and Salazar in the midfield. Mosinho, Snow, and Stojanovic right hand side, Ronieri left hand side, cornerless up top. Let me. I'm a little bit apprehensive of scrolling this down a little bit because there, there there's a guy that's on bid that i don't want to show off uh until it happens so i'm not going to do much on terms of uh why people are missing out we're just going to go ahead get into the match so maury's going to get the lucky number seven okay i feel you young fella uh turn your face on here we are let's get it underway up first who are we playing 20 we're playing 20 didn't even remember who it was i believe we're playing two lesser sides ain't we I believe so believe that well senior doesn't look tired does he i don't think he looks tired 20 come in in not great form I'm still confused by that guy saying mosinho was tired uh don't believe he was he's a little tired i mean he, but he can play he can play for a little bit it's not gonna hurt him I mean, he's a young fella he's got some energy goodness gracious give him some opportunity here all right we've changed the midfield up a lot today haven't we yeah, it's it's a bit it's a bit of a of a shock there with how much changes all three of our normal starters not in the lineup today, uh, and I think the reason why I didn't start uh, Hay was because I thought he was tired. Could be wrong. Uh oh, we might have given up a penalty early on in this match. Looked like it was kind of close to being in the box. I'm gonna say that it was outside the box. You know, just to keep my hope up a little bit. I think it was outside. What do you guys think? I didn't really see it that well. No pin, no pin, no pin, no pin, no pin. 
No pin. Come on, guys. Get it, get the, get the, get it on. No pin. There we are. No pin. Okay. Don't be scaring me that early in the game, guys. Okay. Good grief. All right. Yeah, 20 uh, sitting 15th in the league, so not having the best of season. We are still top of the table. Didn't even mention that. Three points clear of Ajax. Now we got a match in hand. That's, that's fine. I mean, you know, we've had a match in hand, it seems like, most of the season against them. Um, or they've had a match in hand. Uh, goodness gracious. Learn to talk. All right, I am I'm struggling a little bit today. Not even gonna lie to you guys. I am a struggling today. Thought about getting a sip of my energy drink there, but I didn't mix it up too well. Uh Salazar gets back on it. Let's get into the match. Delgado brings this one on. What does he decide? He decides to bomb it forward. Looking for Stojanovic, who can't quite get on that one. And now 20 with a counter. 20 with a counter. Salazar, my man, doing the work there, getting back on it. Fleming now clicks us forward to Cornelis. He's got some space in front of him. Takes the long range shot. If he would have hit that, he would have gone down in the record books. Going down as a legend for the club. Uh, I don't know. How do we feel about the performance today? I'm not just like overly impressed. Not overly impressed right now. Especially with the side as bad as 20 yard. Uh, I, I would like to be up by now. Or at least I've had a couple opportunities. It doesn't even seem like match stat wise we're creating that much, really. Uh, don't know what to do really at this point. I think we're going to drop a little bit more encouragement. Encourage, encourage, encourage. That's all we do here. All right. Highlight. A good one. A good highlight. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, just just something fun. Anything game. Yeah, uh, the transfer news, it's, I, I, I don't know what to say about it. I really don't. Mosinho's getting a little bit tired out there. We are going to make some halftime changes, I do believe, uh, unfortunately, just because side's not doing what we should be doing out there today. It doesn't seem like. One minute of added time, and we're going to get into halftime with the draw right now. Uh, and we're going to let the guys know, this isn't good enough. What is a happening out here? Okay, cool, 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 cool. I like that, that it doesn't show anything crazy. So Mosinho coming off definitely for Tom Hay. Uh, make that change right now because he is a little bit tired already, unfortunately. And uh, I think we're going to start Chavi, bring him on as well. We're going to make two halftime changes. And I'm going to forget about it. I'm going to make a change around the 68-minute mark. And uh, then later on, I'm going to be like, hey, where's all my subs? You big idiot, you done made them all. Salazar wins this ball. I've been impressed with Salazar today. Not sure what his rating has been, but the two, the couple highlights we've had, he's made some really good defensive stops, hasn't he? Okay, okay, okay. What do we got here? Van Roy moves it to Snow. He's got Fleming, who's got a run. Goalkeep comes out, buries it. 13th of the season. Snow on the assist. Let's go, baby. One, Neil, Nat, take the lead. All right, here we go. It, it took a little bit longer than what was anticipated. I'll, I'll give you guys that. But it finally happened, okay? Finally happened. Fleming gets on the end of it. Goalkeep came out and had no chance of stopping that. Good stuff. All right, we're about to get some more points on that table. That's going to look good. Isn't it? That's going to look real good. 43 points. Oh, baby, let's go. Right, remember, Brack, no changes. You can't make a change yet, okay? You've already made two. You can't make your third just yet. Salazar is putting out a solid rating of a seven right now. So that's that's good. I've been impressed with him of late. He on the Hotec, uh, Alvaro, and uh, Ismar all looking really solid of late. I've been really happy with those guys. I think they've been solid pieces this season. Uh, I am looking at Van Roy coming off next. Not having a great match, is he? Not having the greatest of matches. Salazar's getting tired. Snow's tired as well. So we do have some tired bodies on the pitch. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know exactly... I'm leaning toward Van Roy just because he's not having a great matchup today. Seems like he's struggling out there. But then you could say, hey, you could bring Ismar on and give another option up there. Or you could bring Zamora on and give him his debut. Okay. <laughs> oh, goal kick. All right. Let's go get it done, guys. Let's get out of this match. I'm ready for it. Ready for it to get over with. I really still don't know what I'm doing with this last change. I don't. Uh, I think Hotek and Ismar both are deserving of coming on at this point because, well, they've been solid players so far. No, no, just hangs on to this one. Rolls it over to Marquez, okay. Who bombs it forward right into the defense. 20 in possession now. Ismar gets beat here. No, no, forced to stop. Van Roy keeps it alive. Doesn't allow a corner and he bombs it forward. Into a highlight. Into the match, please. This is a scary one. 
All right, I think I think we're going to roll Van Roy out. He's on a card. Uh, it makes sense. Delgado was in goal scoring form in the last one, wasn't he? Can't get on that one, unfortunately. And it's time for our third and final change. Uh, we're bringing in Hotek. Ten minutes left to go in the match. Let's get it done. Secure this victory because it's been a scary one. <laughs> it's not been not been a performance that I, I, I normally like. Okay, get off of that guy. I don't care about him. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this one is a. This one needs to end. It needs to end quickly. The end cannot come quick enough for this one, can it not? Good God Almighty! Three minutes of added time. Let's get out of here, please. Let's just forget about it. Salazar's dead on the pitch. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed that he is uh, struggling with his fitness out there. Won't be starting the next match. Neri can't hang on to that. Uh oh. Uh oh. And, and Hotex out of position. Marquez has got to do a good job here. Robbed at the end. Ronerio did not do a good job hanging on that ball, which led to the counterattack. And uh, Hotek was further up the pitch, and uh, it definitely, definitely caused an issue there, didn't it? Yeah, we're training tomorrow. You guys don't deserve a break after that one, but I'm going to give them the break because, well, they're, they're tired. Oh, man, that's, that's tough, isn't it? That one is tough, man. We gotta be better than that. You gotta be better than that. That that hurts. Definitely hurts our, our chances. You gotta win those matches like that in this league because you know you got some big ones coming up in the future, like Ajax, Fade Nord, PSV Eindhoven. I mean, even William has given us fits in this save, but dang it. Well, it's a sad day here at NAC. One of my favorite players. Has just left the club and and before we get into it, i want to preface this by saying uh a while back ago he came to us wanting to be sold and we promised hey if an offer comes in for 7.75 we will sell you that offer came in and uh we we had a selling and it, it's a bit unfortunate really uh looking at the table now uh i actually match in hand is finally away and it's we're level on point so that's that's nice. Uh, let's do it. Mm. Mm. You guys see it. Chavi goes to Red Bull Salzburg for 7.75. Uh, I really like this guy. He was such a good player for us, wasn't he? Man, we had worked hard on him too, like with his traits. He was just, he was a good player. It's interesting to see how, I'm interested to see how he does at Red Bull though. Uh, I, I do think he's going to be a really good player in this league. Uh, that being said, I do want to create a short list of, um, uh, Former players, kind of like what we have on uh, the journeyman, but this is the first time this has really happened that a player that I'm really, really a fan of leaves the club. So uh, our boy Chavi, no longer with us. Uh, first big sell of the club as well. I mean, that's that's definitely the biggest sell that we've done. And uh, we did bring in another player, a player that I've wanted for a long time. And uh, you're going to be like, man, why do you need three of these guys? Well, that being said, I know you're going to see the star rating or see the potential rating of this guy, and you're going to be like, he's not much better than what you got. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think this guy is miles better than what we have at the club. We brought in Rody DeBoer um, from Rota uh, for 700K. Goalkeep, we've discussed this guy in the past. Three-star player, three-star potential. I think this guy is a damn good sweeper keeper for us. I, I don't see any issue with this player. I think he is miles and miles better than Jasper. I mean, let's let's take a look at the attributes and just uh, – I could be wrong. I could be could be overspending. I mean, his handling's better, you know? There's there's no there's nothing that's below a 10 for a sweeper keeper that this guy does, right? And I think he is I think he's great. I, I do. I really like this guy. Uh let's compare him with Nono as well. No no, uh no no's pretty similar to him. And you could argue, well, you probably need to be playing no no since he does have the potential. But at 20 years old. I just feel like we had to make a change, and I feel like this guy is better. I do. I just, I don't know, just don't see any issue with him. That being said, he's not going to start today. We've got to discuss something else as well uh, for our, uh, hold on, sorry. A little bit of a text message there. Uh, we've got to discuss now that 
Chavi is left, we got to figure out what we want to do in the midfield, right? I, I've kind of glanced over it a little bit. Stojanovic, I think, is probably our best option at that Mazzala role. Uh, I think he can do a good job. He's decent at finishing. He's not the greatest finisher by any means, but uh, I think he'll definitely do a decent job. He's got decent flair. Uh, his finishing and long shots are probably the highest of our midfield players. That being said, let's take a look at Samaria. I haven't actually looked at Samari. Samari probably the better one, ain't he? Samari. Samari might be our new Mazala. What is Stojanovic on the central mid at attack? How good are you at that? Because I had really, I didn't think about that. He's pretty good at it too. His tackling's a little bit low for me. I think he'll probably be a backup. I think Samari gets the, the nod as our Mazala. Stojanovic will probably be on the bench. Okay, we've got Mike Snow, who is a good central mid on attack. His tackling's a bit low as well. Okay. Okay, so maybe it is Stojanovic. I'm just thinking right now. Uh, what Tom Hay? Tom Hay's probably the central mid on attack, isn't he? Tom Hay, yeah. Tom Hay central mid on attack. Mosinho probably will come into the lineup as well as our uh, deep line playmaker. Is what I'm thinking. What do we think about that? Do we like that? I kind of do. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think that's the that's the that's what we do. Uh, so that being said, let's get into the match. Hey, I mentioned you in the last episode, by the way. Totally forgot about it. Oh, and my dude, you're on the first team now that we have sold. What's his face, um, Markello? You're our third choice right back. So that being said, you probably won't play a lot, but uh, yeah, you're you're on the first team now. So good news there for you. Bet you're happy about that. You're you. I, I'm excited to see you on the first team. I think you can do a decent job for us. Provide some cover at right back. Provide some cover at center back as well. Uh, a decent little player there you are. So uh, happy about that one. We've changed up the side a little bit. Do we give Brody the board start in this match? I'm going to. I think we've changed the side up a little bit. Uh, Let's do that, and then that. All right, so I think that's what we're going to roll with. we got Boer in goal, a back four of Van Roy, Delgado, Alex, and Patrick. In the midfield, Mosinho. Hey, Samaria, right-hand side, right near your left-hand side is more up top. It's Vanima coming into the lineup. Haven't seen him in a little bit. His fitness has even dropped some. So uh, we're, we're going to do that, get that back up a little bit. Lucky number 16 for you. Hope you like the number 16. Uh, also, the other goal keep, Jasper came wants to be sold as well, so... Don't really care. You suck. You've been an absolute bust this season. Let's get out here. Get the victory over Fortuna Sittard. Uh, we, we, we're a decent form. Three out of our last fives are wins. Uh, two of them are draws. I would like to break that draw streak. Fortuna Sittard has not won a match in five. Okay. Time to pile on the misery today. Looking at the league, there we are. Sitting top of the league right now. Uh, level on points with IX, but we do have a one-point goal differential. So, need to get a good result here. That'd be massive, my dudes. Let's do this thing. Fortuna Sittard, where are they sitting at in the league? I know they're pretty low. Sitting down in the relegation area. So, a big win here today. Uh, uh, kind of a must win. When we play these bottom tier sides, we have to win these matches. We didn't do it in the last one. Got to do it here. That being said, let's do the thing. A little bit of a change in the side. I mean, this is why we've brought in so many midfield players, so we can do stuff like this. We can experiment to see what we like, see uh, who we think can fit in these roles. And uh, I kind of like this side right here. That being said, expect to see Stojanovic playing a lot. I think Stojanovic will come in as a Mazala. I think Samaria will move over to on the right-hand side where Hayes at right now as our central mid on attack, uh, just to see what we like. And Nima had, had, had a little bit of a chance there. It's a little bit too far out in front of him and can't quite bring it down. Roneri, Patrick. Roneri gets back under this one. Can he get a finish? He does. Not of the season. Patrick on the assist. Roneri putting us up one. Neil. There we are. Good stuff there by him. I mean, not mad about that one at all. Not mad at that one at all. Good stuff. Happy to get us back on top early here. Roneri coming on the opposite side of the pitch as well. Got a little bit of an injury as well. So uh, is it one of the ones that's like actually something I should be worried about though? No, I'm, I'm not worried about that at all. Good news. Three points ahead of Ajax now. Once again, they've got that match in hand. They're playing later today. Which it shows they've... Y'all see that, right? Not sure. 
They've got two goals, it seems like, but they haven't played yet. Kind of odd. Not sure what that's all about. Drop some encouragement on the side. There we are. Didn't work. The encouragement did not work. Alex does a good job winning that. Samari plays it. Hey, we play it all the way back to Delgado. Alex now played up to Mosinho. There we go. Okay. Okay. What do we got, guys? Do we have a second here? Vanima's got to run. Vanima's good on these. He even gets caught there. Wow, that does not happen. Ronieri is fourth of the season for my dude. There is for Ronieri on the assist to Neil over Fortuna. That is a nice one. Nice stuff. That right there does not happen often, though. Vanima gets caught. Wow. Ismar with a beautiful finish there. i got to take a look. Who is that guy? I'm guessing it's this guy. He's not got great speed, does he? I thought, like, I was like, how, how good of a player is this guy? Wow, okay. Okay. He just must have had a burst of energy there. Catch up with him, because that does not happen very often, does it? Is that our guy? No, it's not. Okay, I was like, why is he... Sutgens, I was like, man, playing in the top five. He's got to be pretty damn old at this point. Two minutes of added time. Get in here at halftime up 2-0. Good stuff. Happy with this one. This is a lot better performance than that last one, isn't it? Uh, media, you know, you guys get it. Rody out there putting out a 7.0. I'm excited about this guy. I really think he's he's a good goalkeeper. I think he's a three-and-a-half-star goalkeeper. I think he's going to be one of these guys. He's going to come into our side, right? And he's going to... Play with some decent players, and his, his, his rating's going to go up a little bit, I believe. I think he's a good player. Let me know down in the comments about Rody. What do you think about him? I like him a lot. I really do. I think he's a, a very solid, solid piece. We're going to eventually have to take Ranieri out. That injury's kind of hindered him a little bit, and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do that just in a second. Uh, we're going to do it now. There's no point in waiting, is there? He's had a good game. Had a very good game. Oh, man. Uh, I don't. As ooh, late. Let's go, bud. You're on the pitch. Get you some playing time. It probably wouldn't hurt if we start looking for some youth prospects that that's contracts are expiring or some guys that are cheap uh, on these wings a little bit, especially on that right-hand side with Tom wanting to leave the club. Mosinho's getting a little bit tired out there as well, so we're going to have to be forced into another change here. I think, like I've mentioned before, I think we're going to give Stojanovic. No, no, we're not. We're not. Stojanovic isn't going to play. So we're going to do this right here, right? Let's take a look at some more. We didn't really look at him. How good are you on attack? You're about like, uh, what's his face, ain't you? You're about just like Snow. So you're going to come on, get your debut, get it out of the way. There we are. Two changes made. Uh, I wanted to bring in Alvaro a little bit sooner, but due to tiredness and due to players being uh, hurt, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Unfortunately for Alvaro, I don't think he'll get a ton of minutes on this match, but I do want to still play him. I still want to play him. That much is for certain. I'm doing it now. Give him a little bit longer than what we usually do. I think this was a good match, though, for Vanima to get out there and uh, get some fitness back. We've been playing Fleming a lot lately, haven't we? Drop some praise on the guys. Get everybody motivated. You know, you want to keep them motivated. Patrick, get off the screen. Good God. Delgado. Hey, bud, you finished a lot in that last match. Can you do it today? Okay. Hits it into the box. Looking for Ismar over the top. Pin up coming. Who do we want to take our pin today? Who do we want to take the pin? I want to let Ismar go. My man, Ismar. You got a chance to get a brace here today. I think he's the best option there. All right. Penalty awarded. Let's do this. Let's get another goal and raise this goal differential just a little bit more even. Ismar, come on. Come on, bury this, bud. I got faith in you. I've told you guys for a long time that this kid is a great player. It took a while to get here. It really did. You know, uh, it took us bringing in another player that we spent a lot of money on for him to finally turn up. But it, it's, it's happened. He's got a brace today. Good stuff by Ismar. Happy with you today. You've had a great match. Uh, a little bit more praise on him to keep him motivated through the rest of the match. I, I'm confused. Okay, I guess the match has started. On that IX match? I don't know. It's a bit weird, isn't it? 
Full-time whistle, 3-0. Ismar was best performer with 8.5. Rody DeBoer putting out the 7.6 in his debut. Zaymora puts out a 6.7 in his debut as well. Uh, lovely stuff by our side today. That was a good win for us. Happy with that promotion. Or happy with that promotion. Happy with that win. Goodness gracious. Uh, and there we are. Level on points with Ajax still. But we did get a two-goal differential on them after that one. It was just a one point. So that's good. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm not, but if you, you keep talking like that, I'm, I'm just going to get rid of you. All right. So there we are. Good victory there. Uh, we're not going to play the next match on screen. Excelisor, third round of the Dutch Cup. I don't really see a point in that one. We're going to come back with Wale and Eindhoven. Two big matchups. Wale currently sitting in sixth. Eindhoven fourth, two big matchups that we need to get results for if we want to continue to try pushing to win the league this year. Don't get me wrong, guys. If we win the league, I'm going to be very surprised. But in the position that we're at, we've got to at least go for it, don't we? And I think we've, we've done a decent job of that. But unfortunately, we sell one of our top players. It's going to be interesting to see how the squad does without Chavi, I guess would be the way to put that. Before we get out of today's episode, uh, I've totally ended it. I've uh, already recorded the outro bit for it. I wanted to try to use some of this money, though, that we've got in from Chavi. Obviously, I don't know what I want to spend it on in terms of players, but one thing that we can always do is ask for stuff to get better in terms of our facilities. And I'm looking at junior coaching right now. Uh, I'd like to get that up. Maybe youth facilities as well. I know we just, you know, we've took out that major loan to build that new ground, but can we try to get the the... Where is it? Okay, so I can't ask to improve the youth recruitment just yet. Apparently, we just did that. It's like the only thing I can ask for is training facilities. So, okay, okay. So I'm I'm guessing that's what we're going to roll with. We're going to ask to improve the the uh, training facilities. Go through a day, see if it comes back. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this because I do want to try to do some stuff. Uh, in between episodes, maybe we can try finding a couple of young players to sign, bring them in. Uh, I want to take a look at my reserve team, my under 21s team, and see just you know what we want to do. If if there's any big holes there that we need, so there we are. The training facilities is being upgraded, going to be around 3.7. Get that done. Uh, no big deal there. I'm offering out Tom because he wants to leave, but he just doesn't right, try to make him talk to some people. He doesn't. Nobody wants him. That should be a pretty obvious thing to you, bud. Well, obviously, you guys know that I am very disappointed to sell Chavi, but he's on to better things. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.